This is my original title. And what is this animal? Sloth, yes. The symbol of slow movement, or also known as a slow life movement. Why slow? One word that could replace the word slow is relationship. Any profound relationship is nurtured by time, plenty of time. Therefore, a meaning, meaningful life is a slow life. Globalization with its increasing demands for efficiency, for saving time, uh, breaks up relationships that have been sustaining a human life for a long time. Many people tend to feel that localization is isolation, but this is totally wrong. In fact, localization is to rediscover and recreate relationships. It restores meanings to relationships. I will try to illustrate this with one example from Japan. Yes. Shonai is the uh, uh, northeastern part of Japan in uh, Yamagata Prefecture. At the center of this uh, local food movement is a charismatic chef and the restaurant owner, Okuda. Today he is one of the most renowned chefs in Japan and recognized uh, as one of the slow food master chefs. He's known for his cooking philosophy. The distance ingredients travel from field to table should be as short as possible. Dinners are served the freshest of local ingredients brimming with life energy. When I met uh, Okuda, he was a young and unknown chef and had just opened his own, re his own restaurant in Tsuruoka City. He was active in a citizens group called the Good Water Fan Club, protesting the construction of a dam and trying to preserve underground water wells that were soon to be destroyed. I asked him why he got involved in this kind of movement, and his answer was, the kernel of cooking is water. In fact, Shonai, Shonai region uh, was known for good water throughout history and good sake. The name of his restaurant, Al Alkechano, sounds to us Japanese like Italian, but actually is an expression in Shonai dialect, meaning, it's been always here, hasn't it? <laughs> Just after he opened this restaurant, he became good friends with one of his uh, regular customers, Egashira, agronomist from Yamagata University. Okuda would tell Egashira that my mission as a chef is to let people rediscover the quality of almost forgotten local foods, to encourage and support local farmers, and to create a community with a vibrant local economy. Amazing chef. So this rediscovery was what Okuda really meant by the name Arkechano. You thought it was Italian, no? <laughs> Egashira was so happy to hear about his uh, new friend's mission. Let's see Egashira. As he himself was just uh, launching a new project on varieties of heirloom vegetables, inspired by each other's passion for heirloom crops, Okuda and Egashira formed a team and started to explore the Shonai region, looking for farmers still preserving heirloom seeds. Egashira with his fellow researchers formed the Yamagata Forum for the Indigenous Crops with a magazine called Seas and has been its chairman. The forum's researchers have identified already 160 varieties of plants 
which at some point were heirloom crops transmitted from generation to generation, but have recently been almost forgotten. Today, the forum's membership amounts to 400 citizens with many different backgrounds. Kusajima, one of the key figures in the Shonai local food movement and now a member of the prefectural parliament, is a good example of the new political activism. At the time of the great Kobe earthquake in 1995, Kusajima left his work in Tokyo and went to work as a volunteer in the disaster zone of Kobe. It was there that he felt for the first time that he was a part of a community where people willingly help and support one another. Eventually, he decided to return to his native region, Shonai, where he resumed outdoor activities, which he loves, got, got involved in environmental issues, and found himself in a community of ecological conscious, ecologically conscious people like Okuda and Egashira. It was with the support of this group, he soon got elected as a city councillor uh, and later a prefectural uh, member of parliament, independent of any political parties. Since he played a leading role in the Good Water Fan Club movement, Kusajima's main campaign is about safeguarding the natural water system. His environmental activism, activism has not only been influenced by the modern Western teaching, but also stems from ancient nature religion of the region. He is a believer and a practitioner of Shugendo. I wanted to learn this new word today, Shugendo, of which one of the traditional centers is the holy mountains of Hagro in the, in the middle of Shonai region. Uh, Shugendo is a <clears throat> religion or a spiritual tradition that originated in ancient, ancient Japan. It's a sort of amalgamation of Taoism, Buddhism, and, uh, and uh, Shintoism. And also uh, B Buddhism, especially uh, uh, a Tibetan Buddhism. Vajrayana, Vajrayana tradition. In this tradition, enlightenment is equated with attaining oneness with the kami, kami like deities or Gods, gods with small g or, or spirits. This uh, perception of awakening is obtained through the understanding of the relationship between huma humanity and nature. Um, and uh, the person who, who is a believer and a practitioner of Shugendo is called the Yamabushi. Yamabushi means uh, lying low in the mountains. Another member of uh, the local food movement is Watanabe, 30 years old, Shonai native, and a professional filmmaker, whose second feature documentary is Reviving Recipes, a colorful portrait of a community in the making. The protagonists of this film are Okuda, Egashira, and the local businessmen and the farmers, whose mutual support and collaboration lead to the emergence of a new local economy. Watanabe explains his objectives as follows. Heirloom plants are a living cultural heritage that have been passed down through decades and centuries to provide generations with not only food with its flavors, aromas, and textures, but also with the farming methods and the cooking methods. In this age of globalization, however, that heritage has been overshadowed by big-scale market agriculture and was on the brink of being forgotten. Watanabe shares the view with his fellow members of the movement that an understanding of heirloom plants leads to an understanding of the profound relationship between foods, farming, and all the people involved. So to revive and to pass on a local heirloom plants not just means to enjoy the bounty of food, but also to create and strengthen bonds among local peoples. 
he and all the supporters of the, the film hope that uh, reviving recipes is shared as a recipe to help remedy the serious problems surrounding food and farming today, not only in Japan, but throughout the world. It is important to notice that the local food movement in Shonai has its roots in the movement to safeguard the communal access to underground water and seas. The sense of the commons is the foundation of a community. Starting with air, water, and seas. And this is what the global corporations are trying to commodify. Oh. The sense of the sacred is essential for community also especially in the time of global market economy where nothing is uh, sacred and everything is translated into monetary value. The local food, food movement in Shonai, too, is inseparable from the local spiritual tradition, like Shugendo. One of the, I recently interviewed uh, one of the leaders in this uh, tradition, uh, Hoshino, one of the senior Yamabushi, Hoshino. And he defined what the meaning of being Yamabushi is. It is a connector, he said. Anybody who connects things and people, that's Yamabushi. So he said, you, me, I'm an Yamabushi already. So probably all of you here might be Yamabushi as well. Uh, Yes. Uh, <clears throat> I have to finish. I said community of prayer. The word happiness, what, the word for happiness is in Japanese is shiawase, of which awase, shi awase, awase means to relate and to bring together. This implies that the being slow is an essential part of a happiness. Slow life is a happy life. Slow economy is not a bad economy. Slow business, business is not a bad business. It is an art that restores, discovers, and creates meaningful relationships between humans and nature, humans to the land, humans to, to the community, people to people, person to person. As we get local, we get better connected. Our life gets uh, more interesting and exciting. Slow life is an exciting life, but uh, uh, I'm afraid that it might be a busy one. Thank you very much. <laughs>